So what do you do with Bruno Fernandes then? Do you sell him or keep him? Hello there, this is Football's Going Home. We're back here at Old Trafford. And today, we're talking about Bruno Fernandes and whether he's going to stay or leave Manchester United in the summer. Now, there's been plenty of speculation. Uh, it's kind of popped up out of nowhere in recent weeks about Bruno. Uh, United's Portuguese Magnifico. And that is because in an interview, he said he will talk about his kind of future uh, after, after the season ends. Then... We had this kind of the final game here at Old Trafford during the week, 3-2 win over Newcastle. And Bruno again was kind of asked about his future by Sky Sports. And he said, you know, if United want me, then I will stay. A little bit cryptic. So it doesn't it doesn't kind of calm the whole situation. Now, there's been links with other clubs, Bayern Munich and Inter, Inter Milan, to pop straight into my head, uh, where I myself been writing about kind of Bruno and could he leave Manchester United in the summer. And today I just wanted to delve into that topic a little bit more. Should he stay? Or should United do everything they can in their power to keep him? Let's get into it as we walk around Old Trafford. Now, as we walk along here at Old Trafford, I thought we'd take a look at the main reasons why Bruno Fernandes uh, probably should stay at Manchester United. I, I don't think it's just me that has this feeling. I think it's probably the wider consensus from United fans is that they want Bruno to stay. Um, look, since he joined in 2020, it was January 2020 and kind of the talks have been ongoing for a long time about Bruno Fernandes coming to Manchester United. A £47 million deal with Sport in Lisbon eventually sealed his signature. Since then, he's been our best player by a country mile. Uh, you know, Bruno, uh, sorry, Marcus Rashford's had a good season here and there. You know, there's been other players that have popped up with individual moments. But Bruno Fernandes has been Manchester United's best player for by a mile. Um, he's been one of the most creative players in the Premier League, he's been one of the most creative players in Europe. His stats since then, uh, let me just read these out to you. Since he joined, his stats are 79 goals, uh, 65 assists in 231 appearances across all competitions for Manchester United. Now, that those just alone, 65 assists for a creative player, that, that's incredible. Um, but what I would say is that would be even more if United had a striker that could finish the chances that he was generating. Um, I think the last kind of striker we saw that was probably Cristiano Ronaldo. Apart from that, I mean, and, and the reason I say that is because the stats uh, across the Premier League in particular, since Bruno Fernandes came to Manchester United, he's created more chances than any other player in the Premier League, including Kevin De Bruyne. Does that mean he's a better player than Kevin De Bruyne? Well, less uh, No, no. But he is not probably being used to his full potential uh, at Manchester United because of the lack of uh, a key central striker, uh, one that is proven to score goals. Now, that's not the only reason why Manchester United need, I do believe, need to keep Bruno Fernandes uh, for the foreseeable future. Now, his contract currently runs until 2026. Uh, there's then an option for uh, United to extend it by a further year, whether they want to take that. Bruno is 30 years old at the minute, and he's really importantly Manchester United club captain as well. So, if he leaves, then at a time of crisis, United are saying, right, what we're going to do is get rid of our best player, get rid of our club captain, one of the players that's a leader, regardless of what you say about his attitude at times. Um, you know, the reports from inside the dressing room at Old Trafford, all the things that we talk about in the media about Bruno Fernandes is that he is a good leader. Uh, and he actually cares, which is more than I can say a lot about the players at this club. So, if your captain leaves, and you're already in a situation whereby you need more stability. That's not good for that's not good for anything. Look, if he wasn't playing well, I'd accept it. I'd say get rid of him, regardless of his captain. But he is the best player at Manchester United. The team should be built around him. Um, it's not just me who says this. Wayne Rooney said this when he was here at Old Trafford for United's last home game of the season against Newcastle on Wednesday evening. And, and it, it makes sense. He's this creative, dynamic midfield player that likes to pull the strings in, in that area. And if you're not going to build a team around him, then you're not going to get the best out of him. And if he's your best player, then it makes sense to build a team around. I know as we sit here and say, oh, it sounds so simple, but that is all it is, really. Um, what I would say, though, is I also think there's a feeling amongst Manchester United fans that he deserves a little bit better than what we give him, his quality of player. Now, if I, if I look at this a bit further, you can't rattle your brain to think of what he's won. He's only actually won the League Cup at Manchester United. Uh, that was last season under Eric Tanag. He's been to Europa Cup final, uh, FA Cup, temp uh, sorry, FA Cup final, FA Cup final this season. So he could still add to that. But for one of the best current players in the Premier League in terms of how many chances he creates, then you, 
I personally feel like it's a Leave United one league cup. It's not it's not really right. That's not really right. But that's another reason for maybe keep him to stay as well, because give him a chance to add to that collection. Also, uh, at the age of age of 29, sorry, I think I said 30, 29, he's, he's turning 30. Um, at the age of 29, it's now a situation of right. He knows that playing at the top of your game at that age, regardless of kind of like the medical inventions that you've had nowadays, 29, 30, you then start to look at, okay, four years, five years at a push as a top, as a top, top elite player. So can you, can, I guess the question is, is can Manchester United become a, a title winning team again within the next four years? Because that's, that that's, you can't stop age and that's what Bruno is. So if they can, then definitely stay, definitely stay. But I understand why he's got reservations around staying at Manchester United, regardless of his love for the club. And we'll touch a little bit more on kind of the reasons why you should maybe look at leaving next. Now, as much as I want Bruno to stay, and I'm sure a lot of United fans do as well, I think there are some reasons why you could possibly see him leaving the club. Now, what I would say first of all is if a player wants to leave, then let them leave. You know, there's no point in trying to force someone to stay, especially someone that's not a club captain. I do truly believe, though, that Bruno Fernandes is in a situation whereby he wants to stay at United, but maybe he just wants to feel a little bit more appreciated and uh, kind of probably at a club where not everything's going to shit as well, like, like it's been for us. Now, reasons for looking to sell him. Well, one of them is is you've seen it. I think, I think we've all seen this kind of uh, competitive edge turn into a bad attitude at times during the games. I'm not saying you get rid of a player just for that, but you know, if there, if there is an attitude problem there, uh, then that then that would be one reason, especially with Sergio Ratcliffe sending us team coming in there, kind of scrutinising everything and looking at the types of players that they want in that dressing room. So, you know, if there is, if there is a problem there, then that might be one reason I, I personally don't think it. I, I think it's just competitiveness really more than anything. Um, but another reason is, look, United are in a situation where by this summer there's no Champions League football. We're in a situation whereby we win the FA Cup, get Europa League football. Where if we beat Brighton on Sunday, depending on other results, do we get Conference League football? Um, but by not being in Champions League, it massively affects our ability to spend it in the transfer market. Now, we're a buying club. There's no doubt about it. In the last decade, we've we've struggled to sell players. If we have, we've got very little fees for them. And we just buy, 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 pay over the odds. And then we're left in a situation that we're currently left in where you pay like £85 million for, for the likes of Anthony. Um, but we'll talk about that another time. What I would say with Bruno, if you, if you look to sell him in the summer, you know we're going to make profit on that £47 million that we previously made uh, invested into him. Bruno's realistic value at the minute, 29-year-old player going on 30, one of the best creative attacking midfielders in Europe. You're probably looking somewhere around £70 to £85 million. Pounds. Now, he's been linked with Bayern Munich, he's been linked with Inter Milan. I don't think they're the types of clubs that would pay that. But if it becomes a situation whereby Bruno is available, and it's clear that he's available, then other Premier League clubs will come in for him and other massive European clubs as well. People that are talking about the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid, I think they're the types of clubs that he could be a fit for. Um, other Premier League clubs as well. And that would be the most infuriating thing because his stats in his shocking United team have been brilliant. What would his stats be in a team like City's? In a team like even, even Arsenal, Chelsea? You know, it would be concerning to say the least. So, you know, I think, I think there's, there's reasons financial reasons is probably the main reasons you'd look to sell Bruno but hopefully it doesn't come to that. So what do you do with Bruno Fernandes then? Do you sell him or keep him? I think we've made good arguments on both sides but on the whole I would say you need to keep the Portuguese. He's on the verge of becoming a legend here and as captain he has that chance to win major honours of Manchester United if they can sort out what they're doing. So show him a bit of love and you know keep Bruno at the club because that's what we all want to see. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching Football's Going On, talking about Bruno Fernandes' future here at Old Trafford. We'll be back shortly. And for everything else, make sure to stay tuned on my channel.